She has to be on a leash because we don't have a fully fenced yard and she's a naughty girl and runs away. But look outside. Oh, Luna, it got locked. Sorry for the fingers. It's supposed to snow off and on for the next week. And my husband is taking Ella and Nadia to go skiing today. So they're gonna go up in the thick of it, but out of the, the smog, so that's good. Luna. We don't need to record her doing her business. So I'm out in my sewing room. I need to wrap Christmas presents, but I thought I would show you what I was working on today. Um, years ago, I mean, a long time ago, before crickets, <laughs> not, uh, not the bug, but the machines, um, I loved to do paper crafting. There was a magazine called Paper Crafting and I loved it. And in one of the paper crafting magazines, there was a template for a little reindeer. And I um, promptly cut it out and made a whole bunch of these, probably 15 or so. And then I thought that was so fun that I was going to do something with a whole bunch of different designs. I was going to make a little Christmas countdown by making 25 little designs that I was going to then do a Mod Podge low, uh, layer on, put a magnet on the back, and then cut out a metal tree that the ornaments, they could be like little ornaments that they go on the tree counting to Christmas. I don't know, that was a long time ago. So I did some stars, I did some gingerbread men, I did, I don't have any more of those, I don't think here, roller skates. I did, what else? Um, Starlight mints. Anyways, it was taking forever. And then I was talking to a friend and she told me she had this new 
thing. It was called a cricket, and it would cut out all of these fancy designs. And I went to her house and saw how amazing it was, and then cut out snow globes, several different snowflakes, light bulbs, gingerbread houses. Oh, I did these myself by hand. Um, I did a whole bunch of different things. And then realized that the project that I wanted to create was not going to be doable. And these sat here for years. I don't know how many, 15? I have no idea how long that's been. So long, so long. And I decided to start using them for something else. I don't know why it was ridiculous that I held onto them for all these years. So today I cut out just little cardstock backgrounds, punched holes and started gluing them on for tags. And I now have piles of tags for putting on my Christmas gifts. I still need to do all of these. I need to cut out, I don't know, some of these I don't even like. I don't even know why I still have them because I put the time and effort into it. So I feel like I need to do something with it. Some of these I can use just how they are. Just punch a hole in the top and that can be a tag, just like that. Um, so I'm going to take these inside. I have these now in a cute little box. I'm going to take these inside and start wrapping Christmas gifts because my husband and two girls are gone skiing, but I don't know how much longer they're going to be gone. So I better get started on this project. Um, this is what I have for wrapping gifts. On the bottom, I have ribbons. Here I have smaller ones for like tags and I have tape. And then I have like tags that I've made for birthday gifts. I'm, they're almost gone. This is all I have left. Um, and I have other tags like stickers that we've used a lot of. So it's time to restock and replenish. Um, I have little ribbons for using on tags and little elements like we made salt or salt dough tags one year one of my girls made this one and we would just put them on different gifts so i just have such a random assortment of things the thing is i really hate wasting anything i don't know i just feel like yeah i hate wasting but pre space is precious so I hold on to things, little scraps of things, because I hate wasting, but then space is precious. So I'm always torn between being wasteful and just appreciating my space for what it is and utilizing it more effectively. So anyways, I'm going to take this inside and start wrapping gifts. I had plans to make reusable drawstring bags for my family this year, so we didn't use wrapping paper. Um, but I'm going to just use up all the random wrapping paper that we have left and bags that we have left and, you know, just the stuff that we already have. And then this next year, I think I will start making bags, um, that are reusable. I just would like to get rid of more of the disposable things. You know what I even do sometimes for tags like this? If it's to a person from, you know, in my family and we'll use that again, I'll just keep the tag and then we put them on again the next year. So I just, yeah, I don't like to be wasteful. So I'm going to get started. Okay, I have decided to actually come into the guest room, which currently is a storage room, and this is going to be my wrapping space. I usually do it on a, my cutting table because it's counter height and I don't have to get on the floor, but this way I can still use my sewing room. I don't have to be banished from it when anybody wants to wrap. So here's our wrapping station. I have 
all the things that I showed you previously. I've got a bag filled with boxes, like shirt boxes, a bag full of bags, a bag full of bags, <laughs> tissue paper, the random wrapping paper, giant bags, smaller boxes. These were gifts from a friend. Th look how cute. There's that, and there's these. Those are adorable. So I can't show you what I'm wrapping because my kids will watch this, so they can't see. I'm just gonna have to do it without you. Oh, I feel like I just run a marathon or something. My knees ache, climbing on the ground. <laughs> wrapping gifts is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Hi. We're back from skiing. And is happy.